Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanoly is at Dawn. This is Shadow Theory 333. And sorry about the delay. I mean, normally, of course, Tuesdays I won't, or rather the day after a tournament, I won't do it just because otherwise YouTube gets oversaturated with videos and I don't really want to do that. But yeah, so I hope you had a nice week of not watching stuff. Anyway, I'm back. So we're going to have three games between Lori and Snuggle Base. And I'm going to reiterate, if Google Frog is watching, I have an issue out for making these things refresh on the fly, the win counter here, because it it updates, it just, for some reason, this is not updating on the fly. It has to be invalidated manually, and I don't have, I haven't, actually, I, I have time today. I could figure it out. Maybe I'll figure it out. But anyway, that aside, let's get to the games themselves. So the first game is going to be on Badlands. Lori going for, sorry, Snuggle Base going for spiders. Lori going for jump bots. Spider versus jump bot in Badlands. Now, this map, I normally only see shields. Like, shields are very common in this map. Cloakie's fairly common. Spider versus jump bot does make some sense, though this is all perfectly bot pathable. I'm curious how this is going to go. Typically, the spider versus jump bot matchup, I think, is in favor of spiders. They just have a lot of answers for everything, and jump bot has a much harder time dealing with that. Like, if Jumpbot throws out Pyros, then there's Venoms. If Jumpbot throws out Moderators and Placeholders, well, there's Fleas. If Jumpbot, and for Placeholders, Recluses kind of work. Same thing with, like, Jax. Jax is a little bit harder to deal with, but then again, enough Venoms, it'll stun it out. Like, Venom Hermit or Venom, Rec Venom Redback, just both of them work wonders. Puppies are an interesting counter, though. Puppies could actually work fairly well. Well, let's see how this goes. So... Well, it's easy. Snuggle Boy's getting that first hit, first few hits in, and Lori is not really much of a position to counterattack. This flea could be doing more work, but still, I guess Snuggle Base wants to wait for that for the slow to be removed. At any rate, Snuggle Base is not expanding as quickly. They are expanding much more aggressively, though, trying to get over to the southeast as quickly as possible while getting themselves as much damage as they can. And it looks like all the all the fleas pretty much managed to escape alive. Nice, nice micro there from Snuggle Base. And of course, now they get to see what's going on. They get to see all the entrances and exits from Lori's base. And can attack whenever it's convenient, which this is not convenient. I mean, getting rid of the defender is a good idea, but this is pretty dangerous. Lori's commander could very easily come in here and tear apart that flea. Mind you, fleas are so cheap, it doesn't matter, but still. Losing that vision is never a good idea. Wow, Snuggle Base, Snuggle Base is really going ham with this. Just fleas everywhere. I mean, not a huge amount of damage, but it is putting a lot of pressure onto Lori. Lori's not sure where the next flea attack is going to come from. At this point, Lori is safe. Like, they don't have to worry about anything anymore. Their stuff is pretty much safe. There is one path if Snuggle Base threads it, but I don't think they're even aware of it. And if they are, they aren't going to bother. Because they've done what they needed to do. They... They pushed enough. They put enough pressure onto Lori that they can expand pretty wildly. Actually, they expanded everywhere. Like twenty-four stat. Okay, fourteen static economy plus the reclaim, and they have no venoms out. Not much support though. They need some support for those venoms, but still, they have a decent position, and they've made Lori scared, which is the better position, really. That's that's the important thing. The fact that Lori's not necessarily going to be moving out as aggressively as they would have otherwise. Because Snuggle Base should see that, right? Yeah, Snuggle Base totally knows. They're waiting for the commander to run away. Probably. Well, that's a good placement of a defender. Lodri's pretty on the ball with that one. And this is what I mean by Venoms. Venoms just beat out Pyros. Pyros typically lose to stunning. If you can stun out a Pyro, the Pyro will typically lose. And now for the counterattack, Lodri gonna be taking out a few metal extractors. This one's gonna go down for free. The next one, oh. They're not going to... Okay, I guess they're trying to go across, save their comrade. Which they will be able to do in time. That pyro... Sh actually, no. This Venom will stop them. Because otherwise it would have gone in time. That would have been fine. But this flea here can't actually do anything. If this flea moves, it dies. The defender will kill it. So Lori, with some awareness of what's going on, but can't really deal with a lot of what's around. I'm sorry, can't really damage anything too much. And that, there we go. Attack, tried to attack, the defender killed it. Lori was not aware of the defender. That was good, sorry. Snuggle Base is not aware of the defender. That was really good placement by Lori. I'm not sure if they realized there was a flea there, but they assumed and they were correct in doing so. And besides, that's actually a good placement for a defender regardless. 
And, of course, why not just burn your own workers while you're at it? So at this point, Snuggle Base is starting to fall behind a little bit. Or at least they appear to be. They're getting a bit of pressure. They're not really falling behind. It's it's stabilizing. Like, Lodi's kind of stabilizing. They took pressure. Now they're evening it out. Nothing too worrisome at this point. It's just... Snuggle Base doesn't have quite the free reign they would like. And they are accessing. That's not good. And there's a... Weaver right... Ah, oh, they misclicked. They were trying to click on the factory to assist it, and they misclicked and clicked the metal extractor and didn't quite notice. That's unfortunate. But at this point, they're still going to have a pretty good position. Right? They're still in a decent position. They are still playing Spider versus Jump Bot. Now they realize, oh, shoot, I misclicked. Got that fixed. Not sure why they're going pure Venom, though. I get Hermits. Not Redbacks. I wouldn't suggest Redbacks, not with Moderators in the field, but Hermits, definitely. Venom Hermit's a great combo. Venom Redback's also good, and on a map with this many ambush spots, it actually isn't bad either. But pure Venom does not deal enough damage to be useful. It really needs to be supported by something. Unfortunately, that is not happening. In fact, Snuggle Base isn't building anything. What the heck is Snuggle Base doing? Seriously, what are they doing? Okay, they're focusing forward, but yeah, they aren't even focusing on their base at all. I don't know why they're not focusing on their base, or why they don't have a repeat build or anything, but... Yeah, they're accessing hard now. And why are they just building Venoms? Why are they building Venoms on the alt queue? Like, they aren't even... If they're on repeat queue, they're not using it. I don't understand. What are they doing? Like, that, that orange means it's the emergency queue. That's what it means. Like, what are they building towards? This area is pretty well defended. The Venoms, what they need is more support from, well, non-Venoms. Redbacks or Hermits. That's what they need. They need Redbacks and Hermits. Why is it just, is it pure, is it, was this a testing match of some kind? Like, how much damage can pure Venoms do? Or is, is it just a matter of, okay, the, the Spider versus Jump Up matchup is so skewed in favor of Spiders that I could win with pure Venom spam? Because, no, no, you can't. Lori is pulling ahead. They pretty much have the northwest completely. They have their entire side. They have the center pretty much on lock. And while they're able to deal some damage, I mean, that is, Snuggle Base is able to deal some damage, Lori has map control. Snuggle Base has this one corner, and that's it. And their main base, sort of. They don't even have their entire main base. The, the area behind this one cliff, here, or this one mountain ridge here, they don't have it. They have not secured it. And then the moderator's in play, that's going to completely stuff it. They need to... There we go. There's the Hermits. Five minutes too late, but there are the Hermits anyway. I really could have had that far sooner. But the moderators are... They're just going to town. That's what they're going to do. This Venom's barely dealing damage. I don't know what Snuggle Base was thinking. I mean, Venom's used to deal no damage whatsoever... And that, at that point, you absolutely needed support, because the Venoms could only do the EMP. They didn't actually deal a bit of damage. They now deal a bit of damage just in case for things like Glaives and such. But, okay, Snuggle Base is just completely out of what, out of their mind. They, they had no idea what was happening. Because Venoms... Venoms are great. But Venoms are units that have to be used alongside other units. They used to have to, like, absolutely have to, like I said, because of no damage. But they still, in effect, have to. They still, in practice, have to. And Snuggle Base did not seem to catch on to that. Now they're just going pure Hermit, which is also not ideal. They want both. Because the Venoms deal lots of damage here, and this is not going well at all for Snuggle Base. They're I mean, trying to hit basically off Radar Wobble. Yeah, they're aiming entirely wrong. Trying to hit a Defender off Radar Wobble, which isn't even built up. That's... Kind of annoying. And they're trying to hit... This is where fleas would be perfect. Like, this is what fleas are for. Get rid of the moderators with fleas. The hermits are nice for tanking it, but they aren't that fast. The snuggle base has pretty much lost this. The only way they could get out of this would be... Except if they went... Ma okay, mass fleas m would help. But I think at this point they might have to... Just do an outright switch. Or at least add gunships or something. Because then rapiers could come in and just repart. Because each of these, those those would go down in two rapier shots. Like half a dozen rapiers going around the map would tear apart the moderators without issue. It's just at this point that's not happening. And the fleas also gonna have a hard time dealing with the moderators. Although 
This is an, I don't know if this was the strategy from Lodi, like set fire to the area around the moderators to prevent fleas from destroying the moderators, because it kind of is a suicidal tactic. I guess it sort of worked, but not really. Because the moderators, are, I don't think that was the tactic. I think that was a bit of carelessness on the part of Lodi. Nuggleface trying to come back here. They do still have a chance. They aren't completely down for the count. It's just that they're... Like I said, because they let themselves fall behind in the proper unit production, and they're still just mono-spamming hermits. Like, are they trying to figure out how far spider mono-spam can go versus jump bots? Especially a mixed force jump bot army? I don't know. That seems like the only plausible option. And Lori going for the gunship switch. Snuggle Bay is not really bothering with anything other than spiders. If they get tarantulas, they'll be fine. And even venom should be okay, but... Yeah, they don't have venoms. The hermits won't hit. Redbacks would hit, but I wouldn't suggest redbacks against gunships. They're pretty frail. And... Other than that, yeah, I don't know. I'd say get tarantulas, but then again... Snuggle Base doesn't realize this. I'm kind of surprised how much trouble Snuggle Base is having. Really, it comes down to the fact that they did not build hermits when they needed to. They had venoms. They had... No redbacks, no hermits. Certainly didn't have fleas, but venom flea is not very common anymore. Not since the redback came into existence. Yeah, overall, this is... This is not going well. So Snuggle Bay is pretty much their one shot at this point will be... Either a switch, or... Just be... If they can manage to clump up everything that Lori has, zap it out, and then... If they had Venoms, and then destroy it, they might have a chance. They have to rebuild. They have to win defensively a couple times. With these Firewalkers... Actually, if they get rid of the Firewalker, that would also help a lot. And if they go up the Bloody Mountain, because Radar is not doing the trick. Like, it's just not. They have no idea what's up there. Like, Snuggle Base's forces are shooting randomly up there, and they aren't hitting. And dying in the process. Okay, Venom is up, Redback's up. I don't know, this still seems like it's going to be way too little. Snuggle Base does have the... They have Reclaim going. That's one big thing they have going. Their commander... Oh, the commander and a worker somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. Commander and worker is taking advantage of reclaim. So they aren't falling too far behind, but Lordy has more reclaim. They're taking that reclaim. They're using that reclaim. And the hermits are not tanking where they need to be. The hermits need to be in front of the venoms. Ah, that's the whole point of the van the hermits. They need to tank for the venoms. And for everything else, really. They that's what they do. They tank. Like the Venoms stun out. The Venoms enable the Hermits to deal damage to mobile units. Static's not such a big deal, but mobile units, yes. And also, enable them to not be damaged while dealing damage to Statics. To, let, to laser turrets. And there's there's the Rapiers, and that's probably going to be game. There's not much more that can be said. This is basically it. So yeah, Snuggle Base... Snuggle Base had a really strong start. And the Venom army was okay. They just needed to have Redbacks and... Re and well, Redbacks and Hermits, one of the one or both, much earlier, alongside the Venoms, and the Venoms hadn't been destroyed. And when the Venoms are still in play, get some Redbacks and, and or Hermits, probably Hermits more so, to tank for the Disruptor Beams, like tank for the Mod Raiders. And then that would allow them to just deal even more damage. And then once the Mod Raiders come, like once you see the Mod Raiders build enough Fleas to deal with that, and then Snuggle Base had the advantage from the word go. So that was the real problem. They just let it. They just let them that advantage slide. They let themselves go. Jungle Base might still have a chance to come back, but it's it's highly unlikely. Lori's reclaiming. They've got all the units they need. They have pretty much all the tech they need. Getting a crow as well, just in case, just to finish things off. And the only thing they can't easily do is rush in because of all the defenses. That's the only thing they can't easily do, but they could still do it. And there's water in this map? Apparently so, yes. Yeah, once the fireworkers get in the position, if they get on this hill, that's pretty much going to seal it. So, Snuggle Base going for one last attack. One last shot out with these hermits. And there's actually not a whole lot in place, but there is enough. The rapiers should be able to finish them off. And the Hermits will not be able to deal with the Rapiers. Oh, the Rapiers... Is that one? I think it caught fire. But yeah, there was not much. They're really... Like, Lori, 
at this point has nearly double the economy. They have Firewalkers. They can just tear up other defenses when they need to. They have a Crow coming up, which is their entire funds. Actually, they would have won faster if they hadn't gone for the Crow, I'm pretty sure. At this point, yeah, there's not much they're going to be fighting. Although, Loader's Commander, yeah, level 1. They're not putting a huge amount of money into their Commander, but their Commander is pushing a lot of this. If Snugglebase can kill the Commander, they actually might have a chance. Lodi is investing a lot into that Crow, but other than the Crow, they have some Pyros, they have the Commander, and the Commander is what's pushing a lot of the pressure. Now, the Commander is really what's been denying Snugglebase the front of their base, the front of their section of the map. The Commander's been pushed back, but even, I don't know, that's still not enough. The Commander can still go forward, they can still heal themselves up. And the Crow is about a minute away from being done. So there is a clock. Snuggle Base, as much as they may have a comeback opportunity, is on a clock. However, even then, I don't know, this, yeah, with this area being burned down now, the southeast corner being burnt down, Snuggle Base is losing what economy they have. I'm just still surprised they're going for the Hermit Mono Spam. Like, spiders are all about mixing unit types. Like, you really need to have. Like, their units all do one thing well. The Venoms stun things out. The Redbacks deal a lot of damage, but don't take a lot of damage. Hermits deal some damage, but tank loads of damage. Flees can do a lot of really tricky rating. I mean, that's the one thing, too, is that Snuggleways came in with some really strong rating early on, putting Flees around the map, and down there goes their commander. Putting Flees around the map, but not enough. Like, they really didn't spread Flees around to know exactly what's happening when Lodi came through. And also to keep just keep applying pressure everywhere. I mean, Lodri's played as if Snuggle Base applied pressure everywhere, which Snuggle Base never really had the opportunity to take advantage of. And there's one breakout attempt coming in here, which is going to deal some damage, but really not all that much. It's going to be able to get rid of maybe the Northwest, maybe, and the Crow comes in. And that Crow will probably just finish everything off. Should be able to take care of these with just one D-gun. Get rid of the Hermits. They go into the base and just rip it apart, and Snuggle Base... They... actually, they, don't need, oh, they didn't even need to D-gun, but they will. Yeah, that's... that's game. Snuggle Base throws in the towel. Really, that just came down to not mixing units. Spiders rely so heavily on unit mixing that... and also rely a lot on having fleas everywhere to know what's happening. They rely so much on that that not doing those things, just... you're not playing spiders. I'm not sure which. I guess you're playing heavy tanks? I don't know. Like You're not playing spiders, that's for sure. Anyway, that was that. So I'll be up with another game between these two, I guess the next game, because it seems like this was in order in a very short period of time. It'll be on Vitra. Yep, in just a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs>